G'day, you're at the lab, and I'm Glenn, and this is a 1969 Nissan Gloria with a VK56 DE supercharged V8 in the front of it. Today we're going to be talking about fiddling with, playing with, the front caster arm mounts for the S13 suspension that we've grafted into this, converted it to McPherson strut as you can see there, some bracing new chassis rails etc etc s13 cross member in there and steering rack the whole deal so obviously that doesn't bolt up to that and quite clearly that is longer than the chassis on the gloria so we've got to try and figure out the best way of attaching this on to here now an easy way to do it would be as per these marks that i've been fiddling with here you could cut a v out of that you could bend that up make this line here go up here like that do another V here flatten that out attach it directly to that that'd be cool that would work we want to have a bit of space for a radiator in here though a much bigger radio than what the car had from the factory and because we've got our intake pipe that's the style of intake pipe that the owner wanted on the car because of where that's positioned it kind of lends us to shifting the radiator down as much as we can as much as practical so the bottom of the radiator is going to be round about here somewhere right so game plan is take this piece of metal here fold wow crazy camera fold that into a u section to extend the front cross member here down and also do these V sections that I was talking about here to lift that up. So a combination of the two. And that'll give us enough room for a radiator, give us nice good strong mounts and make everything work. So let's get on with it. So there it is there. It's just a piece of steel, mild steel, 1.6 mil thick. Fold, fold, like that. Cuts a piece out of each end of it on each side and you can taper it down at the corners so this piece here that overlaps onto the inside of the frame so it's not very tall it's not going to be a lot of torque on it to try and twist it backwards and forwards that's why I've kept it quite a low profile I'll see if I can fit in some lightning holes in it uh, it'll add some rigidity and it'll allow some airflow through for the radiator and it will make it look more cooler so I'll get on with welding it and then we'll chuck it up in the car, see how it looks, figure out where everything's going to go. I have marked some things anyway. And then figure out where we can put our lightning holes without actually ruining it and making it weak or look like rubbish, etc. Okay, well, that's mostly done. Well, mostly taken its shape anyway. Lightning holes, like I say, stiffen it up a little bit, make it look better and get a little bit more airflow through there to the radiator that will probably be sitting in behind there the panel that's above it and behind the bumper here i'm sure some of you will remember it's a solid plate all the way through there. there's no holes in it at all so and i don't want to put holes in it because it is a structural member of the chassis for frontal impact so i'm not sure how the lighting will be for you there but that one you can't get any air through there at all this one you will be able to so that'll do. Bit of work to do on the ends, obviously. Can't just leave it as it is there. It's quite yucky. We'll sort all that out. I've still got to do a plate on here. It's a whole heap of tidying up. But that's that's pretty good. I'll put a doubler on the inside of here. I'll put a couple of captive nuts and um, we'll figure out what we're doing with these. Like I say, it's most likely all that's going to happen is take a section out of here that will bend up take a section out of there that will straighten back down again bolt it directly onto that it'll be nice then we can put a couple of mount plates across here put a thick section of aluminium bash plate down underneath here to protect all the sump and all that sort of carry on and we'll leave it up to the owner if he wants to put a small valance I guess we'll call it along here to to hide all this or whether he likes just leaving it like that and leave it exposed obviously when the car's on the ground this wheel lifts up quite a lot higher goes up 
this cool 100 mils from where it is there so right tomorrow the owner's coming up from Wellington to have a look first time we would have seen the car in person since the project started basically I think so that'll be interesting and um, we're gonna try a couple of wheels different wheels and see how they look on the car carrying on so we've got that held up there with a magnet looking pretty good so far all this will all get dressed once it's been inspected and everyone's happy with the welding etc I'll make that all look beautiful as if there was no weld there at all and then this is the mods that I was talking about with this camber sorry caster arm mount so just cut from that corner down to here on both sides bent that out straight so it lines up with that pretty good actually it needs a slight tweak but that'll pull down a little bit more when that gets welded and it will be within Kui where it should be as far as factory tolerances etc and um, a bit of a chop chop through here a bit of a shorten you'd be amazed how much materials come out of that actually excuse my wandering around that's the piece that's come out on both sides oh, that must be the other side oh, it's that side so chop that out and that gets our length correct and our height correct so you can see the difference there that's the factory part da -da 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 -da. and that's what we're doing on this side here and there's a piece in the top here which is going to be ugly as so i'll chop a section out and i'll weld in a flat piece to make that all look beautiful from the top and in theory basically it's going to look like something the factory would have made if they were in the same sort of situation doing the same deal I mean sure you could spend a couple of thousand bucks probably and get this machined out of um, out of billet aluminium it'll look absolutely awesome and a big waste of two thousand bucks but it'll look cool I mean if it was a SEMA car you'd do that right but it's not so cool I will carry on and get that welded up for us so test fitting a wheel let us know what you reckon I think it looks good actually and it, it does actually fit oh it's those dogs again we love those dogs so obviously a little bit of wheel alignment alignment needs to happen and adjust caster and camber a touch but I reckon that looks bloody grouse so that's a 19 it'll have a pretty low profile tire on there and, um, and that's an eight and a half and there's a nine and a half that matches that to go on the back with a slightly better dish which hopefully will work quite well with the width that we've organized for our Ford nine inch in the back there's what I was uh, fluffing around with so there's those brackets that one I'll polish the welds up <laughs> looking all quite lovely that could be powder coated and you'd never know it had been fiddled with this one I've left it alone so that the LVVTA guys can have a look in person and see them and know what they're dealing with the penetration and all that sort of carry on right so customer's been and gone on his way he's going to Tauron or something like that to see some relatives so that's all good he's um, pretty happy I think we've had a bit of a yarn about what's been done what we are going to do how he wants things done etc and it's all it's all looking pretty good so far you saw we tested a wheel on there so we've now got some wheels ordered and we'll sort out tires once we've got the rear diff and we've confirmed exactly where things are sitting intake system we talked about whether we build some boxes or ducked it down into the front under the wheel arch there and in the end we're just opting just to put some pod filters just directly on the end of those tubes actually let me get one off the shelf Da -da. she's a bit dusty in that never mind but basically make these pipes shorter so pod filter straight on the end of that should be fine there's enough room that was going to be good enough room to put that in there without any vibrations or anything like that yeah it's going to be warmer yeah, than what it could be but nah it's not going to be a problem looking at the size of these big ducts that are in the factory panels there fine you know it's going to get cold air potentially actually get too much might get a little bit of water on the filters if it's driven in heavy rain which is unlikely but possible you know you get caught out you go away for a weekend the weather turns 
so we'll see um yeah that'll do for now i think go inside and get myself a cold drink we talked about what we're doing with the radiator got all that sussed out and um he has cracked the whip he has he has said glenn i want my car back you're gonna have to hurry up so i'll stop playing with the march i think and um and we'll get on with this we'll see how quickly we can get it smashed out realistically without pushing time to the max i don't want to do too many hours in a day as some mistakes start happening but um it's quite a long list on the whiteboard over there quite a long list on the whiteboard over there so quite a bit to do but we'll get on with it those mounts are looking great i think i showed you those from below but they're there from the top so and we can actually still use the little tab hole for the lower radiator mount and um, just have to get an alloy radiator from somewhere and modify it to fit in the hole some time later one cross member extendy caster arm um, mounty brackety holdy oni thingy inside there so this is made from 1.6 it's about the same thickness as what they use well it is the same thickness as what they use on the sylvias and 300 zx's etc for the same part put a two mil thick plate underneath that and that's 10 mil thick it's about 25 wide or something like that steel just to spread the load out over a nice big area keep it all nice and strong all these holes you see here are for spot welds basically so you just weld the material behind that and then spread it around onto this material and I've been uh, pretty careful and lined those ones up with the existing welds so that we're not welding onto this relatively thin material here we're actually catching the slightly thicker material and behind it this is only 1.2 on the front here that's 1.6 there which is this part as you might remember it is exactly the same as what Nissan made on the front of the original Gloria chassis so we've just replaced the same and then changed things back here as we needed to to make things work so i'm going to clamp that up and i'm going to put the welding mask on and stand here for an hour or so and weld it all up well it might have been an hour or it might not have been i didn't look at the clock but the good news is we're done as far as that goes anyway so we're all bolted up now I'm not sure if you you should be able to see those eh? there's enough light for you guys that's all bolted up to that those big plates that i was talking about are in behind there the captivated nuts are in there or captive nuts it's all welded up there it's welded along there and along there and all the way along the back edge of that spot welded da -da 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 -da. so that should be beautiful nice and strong i'm going to Put a brace so you can buy them for GTRs and Skylines and uh, Sylvia's etc basically it, it tangles that to that to that and that so they usually have a cross from there and across there so I'll do something along those lines just to give it some more strength I mean this stuff is all designed for relatively high performance cars etc but she's a pretty big motor so um we'll get that all tangled in there a little bit better tied together is probably a better word than tangled yeah so that's that and as you saw when the bumper goes on there the bumper comes down to about here somewhere so you'll only see just that last little piece and we'll paint that either black or the same color as the body and you're not going to notice it and like i say we'll put a shield under here to stop uh, small children, cats, birds, dogs, etc., getting tangled up and everything there, and to protect everything from small children, cats, birds, and dogs, I guess. All right, pretty happy with that for a Friday. So, and it's like ten past five, so we're done. Catch us next time.